Hey YouTube, Squidfisher99, coming to you live from my driveway. <clears throat> okay, everybody's been talking about my pipe collection, wanting to see what I have, what kind of tobacco I have, so I thought I'd do that today. I have some more stuff coming in the mail, but uh, I didn't want to wait for that. <clears throat> okay, here's my tobacco, I guess we can start with that. Frog Morton, you've been seeing me smoking that quite a bit lately. Maritime Morning. I haven't popped this one yet. This is supposed to be like early morning pipe. So I want to try that out. You all know I like this. Two Friends Celtic Mist. That's going to be a good one. Squadron Leader. I like this one a heck of a lot. Unfortunately, this is kind of dried out. So I'm going to have to rehydrate it. <coughs> or like Golden Sliced. Another go-to favorite of mine. CAO Moon Trance. This ought to be good. I uh, smoked some already, but I'm gonna can't wait to smoke a lot more of that. Sherlock Holmes, another go-to, another one I like a lot. Once again, this one also kind of dried out because I didn't smoke for a while because I got really, really sick with the pneumonia, so I couldn't smoke. But now I'm back into it and I'll have to rehydrate this and keep smoking it. It's really good. Retrage Red Rapparee, great on a cold day or evening. On a hot day, forget about it. It's a lot of Kia Balm, a lot of, a lot of smoky flavor to it, but I like it a lot. So. Can't wait to get really cold and I'll we'll smoke some of that. Mac Baron Seven Seas Royal. I like it. It wasn't the, all the reviews said it was exactly like um, what do you call that? Captain Black Royal. It's not. This is a little bit less flavorful. It's still very good, but it's, it smells more than it tastes. That's what I found out with it. Um, nougat. This is from my local. Tobacconist here, Helen's Tobacco, their own brand. This is Nougat. It's actually not that sweet. It's not bad. If anybody wanted to try some, I could send it to you. Um, give it a try, see what you think. If I can smell it through the bag, it's, it smells wonderful. Alright, Rat Phrase Jocks Mixture. Dark. Very smoky. Another interesting one. Rattray's Red Shear. This was a bit harsh. Uh, it's kind of a Christmas plan, but boy, did it have some tongue bite. So if you like some really heavy, hardcore stuff, try that. Um, this is Bay Fog. Caramel Pipe Shop, my main tobacconist in the area. They also do my pipe restorations for me. Um, What can I say? It's, it's not bad. It is a little bit heavy, too. Um, another one to smoke on a cold, foggy day. So that's about it for the tobacco that I have. Um, some, here's some nice pipe stands. Cut from my dad. It's a 12, 12 pipe stand there. This one's a 6. Um, and the ones that I have much of the pipe. I've ordered some of these. So I got them, um, and that's a pipe stand that it came with, and I've, I re-varnished it. It was really nasty looking, so I sanded and varnished it. It looks really nice now. There's a green, white, the stripes, and then the orange and the black pipe. This is kind of a fun one. Um, it's, a, it's a stone pipe made of granite and I think marble. Really nice. I wouldn't want to smoke it, but it's fun to have. These are the sort of pipe stems and lighters, uh, little stinger attachments. I always rip them out when they come, but I always save them anyways for fun. Um, softy bits. Halcyon 2 wax. Um, this stuff works really well. Silver Shadow was talking about this in one of his videos, and it does work really well. Um, beeswax for the stem and the tenon. The, the mortise there, the tenon. I got that one from NW Pipe Smoker, Northwest Pipe Smoker. Uh, great advice on pipes. That works really well. Basic pipe. I got a lot of these um, longs and things. This was a pipe that had broken on me, so I uh, want to see somehow if I can get that fixed. I don't know. Briarville Rick, maybe. <laughs> have to see if he can do it. I'll put that aside. These are pipes that have no stems. Most of these are ones my father made. I intend to get stems for them and smoke them. 
My father was a pipe carver for quite a number of years. So he did some pretty nice stuff here. This one's for a church warden that never quite materialized. I think this one would go good with a church warden stem as well. Bird's eye. Can't see it too well. Unfortunately, the sun went away and I got this nice gray fog overhead and you can't see as much. That's totally unfinished. It's been started, it's been drilled, but it's as far as it got. It's going to be kind of a plateau type freehand. That's a corn cob he used to smoke. It's finally burned out and not smokable anymore. I just keep it because it looks cool. The Peterson pipe. I need to clean it up, get it, you know, rustic, or get it uh, refurbished. I can smoke it. It's a big hunk of briar right here. <laughs> That's what it looks like before your pipe is made. Matches. Balsa inserts for my corn cobs. Pipe tools. Pipe nail. This is a, um, what do you call that? Those little reamers for cleaning out your pipes. Alright, this is probably really boring. Sorry. I got um pipe cleaning solution because I do clean my pipes regularly. Brevia pipe stem and mouthpiece polish, which I do use quite a bit of. This is a freehand I found on eBay. I had to have it cleaned up. It seems like it's not quite finished. The guy whoever was making it got kind of impatient and left a lot of the sanding marks and things, so I'm gonna give it to my uh, restored, see if you can finish it. Very nice pipe. You all know this one. If you've seen my videos, this is the ship's bow that I was smoking. It's Italian made, I think it's a Savinelli. Very nice. This is a Stanwell. I call it my mushroom, because it looks like a mushroom. This is a Brevia freehand. Very, very nice smoker. Yeah. One of my favorites. This is my little freehand I got on eBay. Another really nice smoker. A Mastercraft. Bent. A really nice one. This one's a... David's Executive brand, a really good smoker. It's a deep chamber and thick walled, really nice smoker. Peterson, slightly smaller. Peterson, it's a system, they call these. I've got three of those that I smoke. This is the biggest one here. So I want to get this one refurbished too. It is a little bit roached. It's kind of been, it's been smoked and smoked and smoked. It needs to go to the refurbisher and get cleaned up. These are my corn cobs. A little mini one and my basic main one. Um, I just did a video with this one the other day. Yellow bowl checker. I've got a few of these. Very nice smokers. These are signature pipe. Um, I guess in the old days you can get your signature put on these things. There's another one. Very, very nice smokers though. They smoke so well. There's a small pipe. This one here is a no-name square with Meerschaum lining. It smokes incredible. I really like this. I just got this one refurbished. Um, here's one yet to be refurbished. This is a Royal. Pretty nice pipe there. Uh, I think I'm running out of time here. <laughs> Let's do a part two. This is a Carrie's Magic Inch. Made in England. Needs to be refurbished still. It's going to give you the 10 minute mark. So I'm going to have to cut off here and I'll just do another one.
be right back.